There might be a global energy market, but the cost of transporting fossil fuels usually makes the energy sources that are closest to home the most attractive. For 30 years, European countries have relied on a mixture of their own coal and North Sea oil and gas. But as new environmental laws make coal less attractive and North Sea reserves begin to run out, the strategies have had to change. Alongside traditional thermal power stations, burning coal, oil or gas, renewable sources like wind, hydroelectric power and solar energy are increasingly playing a part. And having power stations that use different types of fuel not only allows generators to respond to changes in demand, it also plays a vital part in ensuring secure energy supplies. There's no silver bullet, there's not one single technology that is the best or the right technology. So, for example, with cars, that's completely different. We all know that the internal combustion engine seems to work pretty well. Though you get electric cars coming in. It's not the same with power stations. There's lots of different ways that are, have pros and cons and they all mix together. And in fact, their pros and cons fit together very well and sort of form a jigsaw. So you can't do well without one or the other. This is Aberthaw Power Station in South Wales. When it was built in the 1960s, it was designed to take advantage of plentiful and secure supplies of local coal. But as demand for coals declined, many of the local mines have closed. Today, Aberthaw plays an important part in supporting what's left of the Welsh coal industry. Our plant uses sort of thousands of tonnes of coal a day. Most of our coal comes, on, uh, comes to the station by train. Um, and it's, it's a mixture basically. We use around 60-65% of Welsh coal. Uh, our power station was designed to burn Welsh coal, so it's a, it's a specific design boiler. Um, so a lot of our coal coming from Wales in the valleys and all the mines that are up there. 50 years ago, coal-fired power stations like Aberthaw generated 80% of the UK's electricity. Today, coal still accounts for 38% of our electricity, but it's just one part of the UK's energy mix. 